Welcome to the new video of series reusable components in Angular. So as you can see, if I go to the user space, I can see this card. So we in when when we use the bootstrap, we have panel. So up to bootstrap 3 it was panel, now it is card. So we have card header inside that. We show our normal what are the headings is. And in card body, we show the actual data. If you go to the employee page, we can see different sections are there. So like employee basic info, family details, and education background. So same card. So this is the card, what is being being repeated again and again. Okay, so you can see card, card header and everything. This structure is getting repeated again and again in every, all the component. So here comes the idea of reusable component. So we can create a, uh, what you can say, reusable card component, but we can achieve the same functionality just with a little twist, which will be accordion. So this is the accordion okay so this is a card plus accordion so we can have a card header this is the card body and we can toggle this also okay so we will start writing the reusable component okay let's see the code so i have already created one component that is accordion so the content what i need is this only so i will put it in my html okay so this is my actual card here this information should be dynamic right so for that let's create an input and the right input input name will be Let's make it simple. Header text it will be of string. Okay, so this is the first input we have. Let's make initialize it with empty. This we will use it over here. Okay. Let's see. You see the accordion here we have the what you can say text and on the right side we have this icon okay so that's what we need let's copy paste so in the header section again we can create a row because we need two columns Uh, let's say six for the title and other six will be for the icon so here we will put the icon and in first column we will have the header okay so let's copy paste this and second icon will be for angle up so class name is far angle up okay so this is the basic structure in header we have row inside that we have two column in first column we are showing the header and in second column we have that anchor icon okay so in card body we have to show whatever the content i want to uh, get from the i mean whatever the content i want to show in the card body so for that i will use ng content okay so ng content is a place where we will uh, where it will display all the what we can say html or the template it can be whatever wherever we use this selector inside the selector whatever the content will be it will display into this ng content so you will get the idea once we reach there now we need one variable that will be uh, not the input just the normal variable is is accordion open it will be boolean by default we will make it to true now we have to use this variable over here so rather than either we can use ng to both the div or otherwise we can just have one 
icon class and we will just make the class dynamic so let's do that or let's just try with ngf if this variable is true then we will show it if it is false then we will show the other class okay so let, let's just test whatever we have did till now we just have to use this selector let's first use this into employee component okay and we can put this row inside here let me comment out this now we have one input we just have to send it square bracket basic details okay. let's save and check now so you can see we have same structure we have got okay but it is coming from the basic detail is coming from the reusable component so you can see here app accordion is there then card head card is there in card header we have two columns for this is complete row in first column we have the heading in second column we have that icon so now we just have to move this icon to the right side so let's just add that class over here text and so with bootstrap 5 we don't have text right we have text end now let's add some css to make the font size bigger icon font size let's make it 22 px and bold also so font weight to save and check okay so font weight it has not take let's see why okay icon instead of icon it will be far so let's save and check now okay so you can see let's make it 900 so it looks better okay so we just have to make it 900 okay let's try it bolder that will be the highest what we can get okay so now this is the basic thing we have did like and the content whatever the body we can see here it is visible in my content so in the card body you can see we do we cannot see the content but here as you can see in card body we have ng content so whatever the content we So this complete row will get displayed here okay so ng content is a placeholder for whatever the html uh, template we get from the parent component okay now if this accordion is open then only we have to show this so let's wrap this inside let's take a ng container so that we won't have any extra div let's wrap this ng content inside this and on this ng container we can use star ng is equal to our variable is accordion open okay now we need to change it also let's say let's write the event here click okay so on click of this is true so on click of it we just have to make it false so i will just write it over here false okay and the sick on the second icon i just have to make it true okay instead of this we can we could have created the function also but uh, it's just one variable that we need to change so we can write in the html itself so let's save and check now okay so if i click you can see it is getting uh, accordion got hidden means uh, accordion is collapsed and if i click so you can see the labels are also getting changed and my content is also getting hidden so let's see why this small space is there okay it is the space coming from the card body so either we can add this ng on the card body itself that will be the best option so that we cannot see that space 
okay so you can see now it is being minimized again let's say we need now this color is static like uh, the secondary color what we have added is a static one so if we need multiple colors so we can create a color scheme like or we can send the color since we are using bootstrap so we can just add one input and input will be let's say card accordion color and this we will use instead of this static we'll use a dynamic class is equal to this accordion color so let's say now we need to pass this also into from parent component okay so here we just need to pass let's say bg inside single quote bg i find primary is what we need to pass let's save and check now yeah so so you can see the background color has been applied let's use the same selector for the remaining let's remove this we need to map this into this let's say for say a second one we will add class secondary the text will be family details third will be education detail and the content let's remove for the third let's make it success so that we will get the green color okay so you can see okay so what is the advantage like we don't have to write that html again and again in different components we don't have to write this code to show and hide the accordion functionality again and again in all the components okay plus color color also we have made dynamic like we can pass the color okay so this is the example of reusable accordion component okay so that's it with the current video in next video we will again try to see more of the reusable components till then please do subscribe and like videos thank you